So, a few people have been asking about the new feature in the new Helix software update, um, which you can import room EQ filters into the EQ. So, I was at SVR and I saw a few posts about it, probably two or three asking about how it's done or if anyone's done it yet. And no one answered, so I went over to the hybrid guys who distribute the Helix products and asked them, and they said they haven't had time because, you know, obviously they were setting up for SVR, so I figured I'd come home and try it out. And this is how you do it. You start up your program, you know, you set all, all your shit, your time alignment, your inputs and outputs. I'm not going to show you how to do all that. We're just going to get right to the EQ. So you have all your EQ here. Um, you're going to go into room EQ wizard. And I'm just going to use a random measurement that I have already. Um, what you would do is you would, you know, use the RTA to measure or use sweeps to measure. Um, once you have your measurement, you, hold on, let me open one up. Um, this all right so this looks like a rand this is probably a measurement of my desktop setup um, or maybe I don't know what this is either way once you have your measurement you you know you have it in your RTA or whatever you click save and you have it on this main screen you go to your EQ all of this was explained in my my first video so you're here and for EQ you set generic then for target settings um, you would match whatever you know if you're going for a tweeter you would do bass limited if you're doing a mid mid range mid bass or a subwoofer you do subwoofer etc etc um, this is or you could do full range for a tweeter too because you could just set uh, a high pass so for this it looks like it's crossed at uh, 80 or 60 let's try 60 no it's definitely 80 and we got to match it um, just... mm. let's go let's go with 85 db and you run you know you run your um, you run the program to get the filters however long this takes, um, so be it. All right, so it's done running the program and you have all your filters. Um, this is everything. So what you're gonna do in here, you know, if you hit R, the shortcut for this is on the main tab, it's the key R and it's gonna bring this up. Um, you know, you're going to want to, I'm just showing you right now, that's not what you're going to do next. From here, or from Roo, you're going to go back to the home page. You're going to click File, Export, Export Filter Settings as Text. And, um, And you're gonna save it somewhere. This is just on my desktop, so it's easy to end for the video. Um, and you save it. So you go back to the program, hit R, and you're gonna to go to wherever you saved it. And this is gonna pop up. Please turn down your audio source, yada, yada, yada. Click yes, and boom. That's it. This should give you exactly what this target curve is right there you know it's not going to because that's the beauty of a car um, but it should be very close maybe run it again and just input I don't know how many times you can import filters I'm thinking just once but I, I didn't test if you can import over and over again on the same channel you know let's see yeah so it only does it for one channel. I wonder 
Let's try this. Let's try linking some channels. Um, yep, you can link channels and do it. That's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much how you do it. <laughs>